And next, my favorite kind of story in life is the kind that reminds us that we are nowhere near as close to as smart as we think we are. And oh boy, does this next one do exactly that. You know that golden telescope we humans built uh, that's taking some mind-blowing pictures of space right now? Well, it turns out it's so powerful, it might have just shattered our understanding of the universe. We've all heard about how the new James Webb Telescope is kind of like a time machine because it can look back to the early formation of the universe. And it's been doing just that. It has taken pictures of six galaxies that are some of the oldest that we've seen, but they're a little hazy and there's a lot going on in these images. Bear with us. Uh, for one, when you're looking at these things, they're supposed to be from the beginning of time as we know it, and they're not supposed to be all that well formed. Well, guess what? These are looking a lot bigger and a lot more developed than we thought. And so this would completely force, it would force it to completely rethink what's going on back then. They should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation. That's baffling scientists because they don't fit in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, you're saying that these galaxies, these six galaxies that look kind of like galaxies are, are actually black holes? Yeah, that's one theory, because we think that at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, there is a, a raging black hole that is two to three million times more massive than our sun. In fact, we now believe that at the center of almost every galaxy in the universe, there's a monstrous black hole that could be millions to billions of times more massive than our own sun. All right, exciting news. One of the first and biggest projects in the James Webb Space Telescope's 10-year has released its first images today. Titled Cosmos Webb, the project is co-led by Dr. Jehan Kartaltepe, an associate professor at RIT. The goal is to unlock the early secrets of the universe, some of the first galaxies and stars that formed as early as 200,000 years after the Big Bang. to understand how those first stars formed, what they were made of, what their properties were, how they are different from, from today's stars. Um, that's something only JWST can do, right? There's no other telescope that we have or that we will have in the foreseeable future that can really probe this time period. We can look for things like galaxy clusters where there's a lot of galaxies really close together and we can compare them to ones that are in more isolated regions of the sky. Well, so far, only 4% of the images have been collected. The next round of images will be collected in April with the imaging ending at the end of the year in December. Uh, Professor, since we have you, I'd also love to ask you about this discovery a lot closer to us here on Earth. Um, it's another thing that I think you know a lot more about. Apparently, we just discovered that there's a, a fifth layer of our planet deep inside of Earth's core. Uh, what kind of knowledge do you think that could potentially unlock? 